Hello and welcome again. Welcome to Cooking with Jerry Estrada. Today I'm going to cook a chicken, chicken breast, and I'm going to do it in a special cream of mushroom. And I am going to show you, it's a very simple recipe. It can be done. Uh, anybody can cook this. It's a very simple meal. I encourage you to watch this video because you can also cook this at home. It's going to come out really good. And for that, we're going to need the following. We're going to need, I got some chicken breast. I have three pieces of chicken breast. I'm going to need a little salt, three cloves of garlic that I already chopped up. That's almost a cup of onions. I have about a half a cup of green peppers. I'm going to use also red bell peppers. About a quarter cup of mushrooms. Here I'm going to have, this is a half a cup of cream of mushroom soup and a half a cup of milk. I'm going to use a little bit of oil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just lightly season this with a little bit of salt and then we're going to come back over here and I'm going to show you how we're going to start cooking this up. Well here I put about uh, I'd say maybe two or three tablespoons of oil and I'm cooking this at a medium to high temperature. I don't want it to get too too hot and at this time I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the garlic. Let that kind of simmer up a little bit. Once this starts cooking up a little bit, maybe for about a, maybe 30 seconds, about a minute or so, I'll go ahead then and I'll add the onions. And of course, I've said this in many other videos that you always want the garlic to cook a little bit and not overcook. But once it gets to a certain point, that's when it really maximizes the taste, the flavor, and also the smell. So that's when you definitely want to be adding the next ingredients right when it's on a real good point. This is a good advice for big advanced cooking. So right around there, I go ahead and now I'm going to add the onions. Stir that around a little bit. And I'm going to wait until they start glazing up a little bit. I want them to be a little little cook too uh, for now so this will probably take another minute or so so I'm just going to stir this up a little bit let let the heat blend in real well and, uh, and in a minute I'll add another ingredient as you can see the onions are getting nice and yellow nice and golden what they call caramelized and this is a good time to go ahead and add I'm going to go ahead and at this point I add the meat so I'm going to go ahead and lay now this chicken I went ahead and I Sprinkle just a little bit of sea salt, and that's something you could do to taste. You can also put um, pepper or any other spices you want to do, but I just went with a simple little bit of sea salt. I'm going to let that cook for a few minutes, and uh, then I'm going to go ahead and start adding some more of the ingredients. So I'll be right back. Here we go. The chicken is cooking right along. I keep it still right about medium to high. And at this time, I just turn it one time over. There we go. Once I'm going to let that cook for another three or four more minutes. And once that cooks a little bit, then I'm going to start adding the other ingredients. Well, great. They've been cooking for a few minutes now, and this is the time where I like to uh, not overcook the chicken. This is the, it still needs some cooking, but I'm going to now add the mushrooms. I'm going to add the green peppers. And the red bell peppers. What I'm doing is I'm going to stir these around really well, and then once this is all nice and stirred up, and it's ready for adding the, the cream of mushroom and adding the milk. So I'll mix all this in together, let it get some nice flavor and beautiful colors. And once I stir this up a little bit, another minute or so, I'll go ahead and I'll add the other ingredients. 
Okay, it's already smelling super delicious, and it's time to just go ahead and ask the last, add the last ingredients, which is going to be the cream of mushroom soup. And to that, I'm also going to add the milk. I'm going to give it a good stir. Then all these ingredients start mixing in really well. And I'm going to cover it. And I'm going to let it cook. And I'm going to bring the temperature down a little bit. And it's going to be, I'm going to complete stir it later. But I'm going, to, once it's all stirred up and everything, I'll cover it up. And I'm going to bring the temperature down to about medium and let it cook for about another 20 minutes. And uh, we'll see how it tastes. All right. Well, now it's really nicely well mixed in. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and bring the temperature down to medium. A little bit less than medium. There you go. And I'm going to cover. And... Give it about uh, another 20 minutes and dinner will be ready. And let's see how it looks. And uh, there you go. That is ready. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and plate it and do the presentation for the, see how it's supposed to look. And we're gonna taste it and go to the next step. And here we go, and I'm gonna place it right over here. I'm gonna take a nice picture. There you go. So I went ahead and also made some mashed potatoes, steamed broccoli, and I put a little bit of cilantro on top. And that is your chicken with cream of mushroom. There you go. And now I'm going to do the honors of tasting it. And here we go. See how that looks. And I am going to take a bite of it now. This is the good part. Let me see. Very yummy. Mmm. The sauce is really good. Mm hmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. This is definitely. This is definitely a plate if you don't know what to cook with the what to do with the chicken. I recommend this. Also, for you that haven't seen me in other videos, I also have other videos in which I cook uh, other Chinese food. Um, I cook uh, other Puerto Rican plates. So please go ahead if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like, share it with your friends, and keep on watching. Visit my channel, Cooking with Jerry Estrada. And hopefully you've enjoyed this and learned something about this, another simple recipe of uh, cooking chicken. I want to show you one more time the plate. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Thank you and see you next time. Thank you for visiting Jerry is cooking with Jerry Strada. Thank you. Have a good night.